Phineas and Goob investigate axolotls. Hey Goob, what has web feet, feathery gills, and the cutest little face you've ever seen? Hmm, feathery gills and webbed feet. I have no idea. What? An axolotl. An axolotl? An axolotl. It's a type of salamander. An unusual type of amphibian. Why is it unusual? Well, for a few reasons. Unlike other amphibians, an axolotl never goes through a metamorphosis. A meta what? Hi, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Your friend here, Phineas is it, was saying that I will never go through a metamorphosis. That means a complete change. In this case, it means a complete change to my body. See, other amphibians like Phineas the frog, for example, live completely underwater when they're young. When they grow up, though, they're able to live on land too. But I live underwater for my whole life. I'm special too because I can regrow parts of my body like a lost leg, an eye, or even parts of my brain. Scientists are interested in seeing if that can help people who have damaged or missing body parts. You can find out more about axolotls at the library with a good nonfiction book like this one. Or a cute picture book like this one. You can read a story about a lonely axolotl or a story about an axolotl who wishes he was less cute and more scary. If you want to do research on axolotls, go to our website and then go to eLibrary. Then to databases. Then to homework help. If you're in elementary school, you can try Galen Context Elementary. Type in axolotl in the search box. And that'll bring you to different articles about axolotls. Find these resources and more at your St. John's County Public Library System.